welcome back to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. And today, we've got an Amiga update, Amiga OS update, 3.2.2. And I'm going to go ahead and just show you real quickly how to unpack this. I know you all know how to do this, but some of you don't. Here in Directory Opus, we're just going to go ahead and click on, the, click on the file, then click over here, and it'll automatically unpack to the uh, window over there. Okay, now that that's done, you could do it from Opus, but I like to go ahead and just quit out. And then we're going to get back. We're just going to our RAM disk here, and sure enough, give you your standard how to install. They give you your change notes. You've got the ROMs, of course, if you're going to be burning your own ROMs. And then, of course, the install ADFs. Let's go ahead and view them by name. So it looks all spooky and stuff at first, but that's because they have all the language packs in here. So what's new? Um, well, there's a there's there's some things. Uh, it's not a huge update, but there's there's some things. And really, what I'll do is just toss up an image here real fast. All oh, this is going to be kind of pointless, isn't it? Because it's really huge. Uh, so uh, if you go to Hyperion's website, which I'll provide a link in the description below, you can see what's going on. But some quick highlights, they've updated the text editor, they've updated show config, uh, icon edit's been updated, uh, you've got some new options for booting the kickstarts um, with different versions of you know, Amiga OS from 3.1 to 3.9, sketchboard gadget, the list browser gadget, the layout gadget, the window class has had a complete overhaul. All these gadgets have been overhauled, it's like a big like overhauling of quality of life stuff for the GUI, which is always welcome. And then they've redone the RAM disk, uh, so it's uh, less likely to cause issues, whatever that means, right? And improved uh, localization and updated version of board. So it is a nice, happy, kind of robust little update here. So let's go ahead and run the uh, install. I'm gonna go update here, and that'll toss in the first disk. And again, you have all your languages. I'm going to do, no, I'm not going to do novice. Every time I do novice, it always does something terrible. So I'm going to do intermediate. It'll like put it in some place that like, why is it even doing that? See, it knows what's going on. It says, yeah, you've got 3.2.1 in here. You want to do this? I'm like, sure, man. English only. That's fine. I'm going to have to modify and move stuff around. I'm like, uh, sure. I have all my stuff backed up. So if I blow this up and I always tend to do this first. And I do recommend for you folks out there that have, real Amigas and emulated Amigas. I tend to do it uh, in WinUEE first, just to make sure nothing goes crazy. So right here, it's like, can you please identify the model? My current environment here is set to an A4000, so this is what I'm gonna do. This is gonna pick the right modules to install. And now uh, go ahead and eject the disks. The disks proceed. And I didn't eject the disk. Come back to me. Let me see. Oh, yay. All right. So now it says copyright 2023. I guess that's how you know it's new. All right. Well, hey, go into utilities. Look at that. Multi viewing the clock. It's amazing. Uh, tools. So in here, we've got the updated show config stuff, too. I mean, that was one of the things they mentioned. Uh, yeah, it'll, it should be showing the 060s. And sure enough, there it is. Processor 060. The rev is cut off. Um, let me see if I can make this a little wider. Fix that. New. Okay, so there's a little bit of a font scale issue here. The, the rev is being cut off. But yeah, 6082, 6806. Sweet. So it knows that stuff. There's my emulation environment, which is cool because like right in the flash and the trash here, you got the uh, emulation going. Everybody knows. Boom. All is revealed behind the scenes, Q. Everything else, um, I'm not really even sure how to test because I'm no pro. I know every Amiga channel is probably going to be making videos about this. I'm sure Chris Edwards and uh, Douglas um, Compton are going to make awesome videos going over the features in more in-depth. This is just Q's way of saying, yeah, for you those that watch my channel, yes, I got 3.2.2. I just showed you how to install it. It's not that hard. Just a pretty quick update. And uh, definitely appreciate it. Love supporting uh, Hyperion in their um, their maintenance of the original Amiga Workbench and keeping it uh, keeping it moving forward. I think that's really really awesome. But wait, where's the text editor? Let me let me show you the text editor because I mean visually it's not that different, right? It's just the text editor. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's got new options. I actually really do like this thing. Um, 
just because it has some some powerful tools for being such a simple text editor. I mean, uh, I mean, compared to back in the day, look, I can type. Yay. I mean, I don't know what else. Okay, I, I guess I'm getting silly now. Okay, that's it. Short video. Thanks for watching. I'm done with this video.